This is the 305. Did you know Miami was once America's drug capital? Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring the captivating tale of Miami, a city that's evolved from a nexus of controversy to a beacon of glamour and culture. Stay tuned to uncover Miami's sordid history, its rise from controversy to becoming the unique cultural center that defines this captivating city. Miami is now known around the world as a glamorous cosmopolitan city, famous for its beaches, nightlife, and cultural blend of North American and Latin American influences. But how did Miami become such a popular destination and prominent city? Miami owes its very existence to its natural geography and transportation connections. The area was originally inhabited for thousands of years by various indigenous peoples like the Tequesta tribe. In the early 1800s, the United States was interested in establishing forts and settlements in South Florida to take control of the area. Miami's location on the Miami River connected it to the Everglades inland via a natural limestone ridge. This made it an ideal location for a fort and military outpost to dominate regional waters and lands. So Fort Dallas was built in modern downtown Miami. Later, Henry Flagler extended his Florida East Coast Railway down to Miami, which opened up the transit connections that enabled the city's growth. In the early 20th century, Miami began its rise into an American vacation land. Northerners traveled by rail and steamship to enjoy Miami's warm winters. Miami Beach's development began in 1913, creating a resort community across the bay that helped promote tourism. Miami population jumped over 1,600% between 1900 to 1920. The city's subtropical climate and convenient access from frigid northeastern states made it a great escape for those wanting fun and warmth during winter months. After World War II, Miami transformed again, this time into a haven for immigrants looking to begin anew and refugees fleeing events like Castro's Cuban Communist Revolution. Latin American groups, especially Cuban Americans, became a cultural force, bringing cafetito, mojitos, and Cuban sandwiches to the area. Economic turmoil in other parts of the Americas led waves of immigration, changing Miami into a hub binding together North and South. As Miami grew rapidly from a transit point to a bustling global gateway city in the 1960s and 70s, an illicit economy took hold alongside legitimate industries. Miami's coastal access made it a smuggler's paradise for illegal contraband, from marijuana and cocaine to counterfeit items. Powerful drug lords funneled massive quantities of cocaine and other narcotics through South Florida ports, in the 70s and 80s especially. At one point, Miami was considered America's murder capital due to bloody violence and cartel battles stemming from the lucrative drug trade. Criminality infiltrated every layer of government and law enforcement, while the flashy, risky drug trade also led to higher overall crime rates. Political corruption scandals like Operation Court Broom exposed how deep money from drugs compromised Miami's institution's leaders' society during the unrestrained boom era. So while finance, real estate and tourism lifted Miami's trajectory, the allure and reality of fast money in the illegal drug trade formed a tragic undercurrent warping society, endangering vulnerable communities and seeding distrust of officials for years, even after law enforcement cracked down. Today, Miami is often associated with scenes of glamour. Speedboats zipping across the bay, dances like salsa and meringue, beautiful beaches, and a world-leading arts and culture scene. Now recognized as one of the most global, diverse cities in the US, Miami continues to be a point of connection between worlds. 
Miami is renowned as one of the most diverse and international cities in the United States. As a major immigrant gateway city and hub for immigration from Latin America and the Caribbean, Miami's demographics showcase a vibrant mix of ethnicities, races, and languages. The largest ethnic group in Miami by far is Cuban Americans at 34% of the city's population. Beyond Cuban Americans, 63% of Miamians are Latino or Hispanic of various backgrounds, including Colombian, Nicaraguan, Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Mexican ancestry, among others. White non-Hispanics make up about 15% of the city. Miami also has significant African-American and Asian populations at 19% and 2% respectively. These demographics demonstrate Miami's remarkable diversity compared to many other major U.S. cities. Over 70% of Miamians are either foreign-born immigrants or the children of immigrants. Languages spoken in Miami are likewise diverse. Given the large Latino population, Spanish is unsurprisingly the most commonly spoken language at nearly 70% of residents speaking Spanish at home. However, over half of Miamians also speak English at home, in addition to other languages spoken by its varied immigrant communities. Miami is located in a subtropical climate, which means it experiences generally warm weather all year long with distinct rainy and dry seasons. The average around temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. In winter, average temperatures in the 60s and 70s make Miami a warm haven for tourists avoiding cold northern winters. In summer, average highs in the 80s and 90s and dramatic afternoon thunderstorms bring relief from the heat. The sizzling climate has attracted everyone from wealthy northerners who established early resorts like Miami Beach to young spring breakers who still pack Miami's shores. It has also made Miami a garden paradise filled with colorful flowers, exotic tropical plants, and fruit trees loaded with mangoes, avocados, and more. Beyond great weather, Miami's geographic location has contributed enormously to its growth. As the northernmost major city in Latin America, Miami perfectly situated to facilitate trade and travel between the Americas. Its seaport and airport make Miami an ideal hub for commerce between North America, Latin America, and Europe. Combined with economic opportunity, Miami's geography has fueled waves of immigration over the last 60 years, making it one of America's most diverse melting pots where Caribbean, Latin, and North American cultures blend. First up is downtown Miami and the glamorous Brickell Financial District. This area is all sparkling high-rises, luxury shopping and money moves with a sleek cosmopolitan vibe. Stretching east is the one and only Miami Beach, home to celebrity mansions, the iconic Ocean Drive Strip, crazy clubs, and the New York-style excitement of South Beach. But it also contains cozy communities like Mid-Beach for beachy living. Going inland, Coral Gables feels like a quaint Spanish Mediterranean village hidden within the big city. Known as the City Beautiful, People seek out its fountained plazas, boutiques and museums for a serene escape. For a taste of Cuba without leaving the US, hit up quintessential Little Havana. Elderly Cuban natives casually sip their cafetitos outside old tobacco shops and it feels like a time capsule to 1958's Havana. Miami is home to Little Haiti with a huge Haitian community that pumps delicious conch fritters and spicy pepper pots into countless restaurants and Caribbean bakeries. The Doral area means crazy good Venezuelan arepas, empanadas, and capres salads at budget prices thanks to its hard-working suburbs filled with Venezuelan immigrants. Hialeah remains Miami's Hispanic immigrant hub, blending Cuban and Latin influences seen in mom-and-pop shops and restaurants 
dishing out affordable classics. These were just a few Miami area hotspots. Let me know in the comments your favorite area and why. As an international hub where the Americas meet, Miami is a powerful economic engine whose business interests span the globe. Key industries include trade, finance, tourism, and logistics, though unofficial economies contribute as well. Companies leverage Miami's status as a gateway between North and Latin America. Many international corporations base their Latin America operations in Miami due to its workforce, airport transit, and expertise across regional markets. Finance is also huge in Miami, where Latin American firms open headquarters to access U.S. capital markets. Miami people even call their city the Wall Street of the South due to massive banking, investment, and real estate financing activities. Tourism remains synonymous with Miami between its beautiful beaches and vibrant culture. Before the pandemic, Miami welcomed 24 million annual visitors, spending $17 billion per year. Conferences like Art Basel also drive billions in arts and entertainment revenue. Supporting these sectors is a massive logistics industry across aviation, shipping, warehousing, and freight. Companies base cargo and operations in Miami because no other U.S. city offers such a direct route to Latin America. This all provides economic opportunity that draws immigrants. In fact, immigrants start over two-thirds of Miami area businesses today. It's a diverse, foreign-born workforce driving growth across many industries. However, as a major port city, Miami has also gained notoriety as a smuggler's paradise for illegal goods, from drugs to counterfeit items. Geography enabling trade also enables underground trafficking. The Miami River was once lined with smugglers docking boats right downtown, and Miami's role in the illegal drug trade remains well known from Miami Vice days to present. So Miami's economy powers everything from global banking to tourism today thanks to its prime international location, while also maintaining a seedy underbelly funneling billions in illegal goods yearly. The magic and mystique of the city certainly owe much to its intriguing economics. Miami's vibrant food scene deliciously captures the city's cultural heritage as the meeting place of the Americas. The eclectic blend of Latin American and Caribbean cuisines reflects waves of immigration, especially from Cuba, that infused Miami's culinary identity, Cuban sandwiches. This classic pressed sandwich is quintessentially Miami. Layers of ham, roast port, Swiss cheese, pickles and mustard come together on soft, crispy Cuban bread, tacos al pastor. Miami's large Mexican community has brought delicious Mexico City-style tacos al pastor of spit-roasted marinated pork, carved right onto corn tortillas and topped with onion, cilantro and pineapple, arepas. These thick corn cakes from Colombia and Venezuela shape the basis for hearty meals. They are split open and stuffed with everything from melted cheese to savory shredded beef. Croqueta Cubanas. These ham croquettes make the perfect finger food snack. The crispy golden exterior gives way to a creamy bechamel and savory ham interior, providing a taste of Cuba. Mojo Grilled Meats. Miami loves unique marinades and mojos. The classic Cuban mojo criollo of garlic, sour orange juice and oregano, perfectly flavors juicy cuts of chicken and pork with tropical zest. A Miami must try. The shared tropical climate also means fruits like mango, papaya, coconut, and guava grow locally, appearing freshly squeezed into batidos and smoothies. And no Miami meal is complete without Cafe Cubano. Sweet, strong Cuban coffee brewed with sugar and served in tiny cups at countless coffee windows and cafes. Through its food, 
Miami offers no mere copy of Latin American and Caribbean flavors. Immigrant chefs and bakers have adapted old recipes to available ingredients while preserving the essence of dishes' heritages. Food here is thus both authentic and transformed into something uniquely Miamian. Miami boasts major league sports franchises that have delivered championship glory along with painful losses. American football and basketball put Miami on the sports map while soccer legend Messi plays. Love them or hate them, sports help define Miami's culture. First are the back-to-back -back NBA champion Miami Heat, led by legends Dwayne Wade and LeBron James last decade. The Heat brought euphoria when they won titles in 2012 and 2013. Basketball helps pump up Miami's competitive spirit. As for football, the Miami Dolphins remain the area's most popular sports team, though often a source of frustration. The team brought the NFL Championship trophy to Miami an incredible two years in a row in 1972 and 1973, with the league's only perfect season. Since then, hopes raised and dashed is a familiar feeling for long-suffering Finns fans. At least the Dolphins' stadium name brings concert glory. On a brighter note, University of Miami football had a dynasty in the 80s and 90s and remains competitive today. Baseball fans also rejoiced when the Florida Marlins won the World Series twice. The area loves its hard-hitting sports teams. Now, soccer legend Lionel Messi of Argentina brought his otherworldly talents to Miami when he joined the city's Major League Soccer Club Inter Miami CF, drawing international attention. Messi will boost passions for football in the devoted soccer city. Win or lose, Miamians bring heat and noise, supporting their cherished sports franchises. Games provide community bonds, especially among Miami's large immigrant populations like Cubans and Venezuelans seeking cultural touchpoints. So while championships have proven elusive recently, Miami teams give generations joy and heartbreak together, uniting a diverse melting pot around shared passions. The city always awaits next season and next superstar with dreams of revelry on Biscayne Boulevard with another trophy hoisted high. Miami's sizzling rhythms and beats are as much part of the city's fabric as its dazzling beaches. From Latin pop to hip hop, let's dive into the hits pumping out of the 3 5. Gloria Estefan remains Miami's queen of music. The Cuban American singer pioneered crossover Latin pop with Miami sound, matching her mega hits like Rhythm Is Gonna Get You and Conga. Her pride in her city and heritage made Miami music global. Rappers Rick Ross and Pitbull famously championed their home city. Rick Ross helped put Miami rap on the map by starting hip-hop label Maybach Music Group and through best-selling albums like Port of Miami, Pitbull blended rap with dance pop to become Mr. Worldwide with Miami rapping anthems like Give Me Everything, even indie rock got some Magic City love with soulful Miami group. The Spam All-Stars fusing horns, drums, and a social conscience. From Gloria to Rick Ross, Miami music expresses what makes this city hot. If you enjoyed this video on Miami, you'll love this next one.